Hi guys, so I'm gonna tell you about solar system and earth layer. The solar system is an arrangement of sky objects that revolve around the sun as its center. The sky object consists of eight planets with elliptical orbits, natural satellites, comets, asteroids, and meteoroids. The planets always move around the sun because of the influence of the sun's gravitational force. The solar system is included in a very wide part of the universe. The solar system, there are also stars that we usually call the sun. Stars are one member of the solar system that has special properties because it can produce its own light. One of the stars we feel the most is the sun. It is very beneficial for the survival of life on Earth. It is also useful as a source of light and a source of heat that is useful for all living things. Besides stars, there are also planets. The nature of the planet is different from the star. A planet is a sky object that doesn't produce light by itself, but only reflects sunlight. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranium, and Neptune are names of planets in the solar system. Satellites are members of the solar system that always surround the planet. All satellites will move around the sun along with the planets it plays. In addition to doing that, the satellite also rotates on its axis and circulates around the planet it is traveling with. Asteroids are astronomical objects in the form of small fraction and circulating on trajectories located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Comets are small sky objects. The comet constituent material consists of a number of rock, crystal, ice, and gas particles. Comets usually often look like a luminous and elongated sky object resembling a tail. Meteor It is fast-moving sky object and have irregular trajectories. If you've heard the term falling star, it's a meteor that can be seen by human. The real event that happens when someone sees a shooting star is a meteor that moves freely in the solar system attracted by the Earth's gravitational force. Earth Layer There is a layer of atmosphere that covers the Earth. The atmospheric layer consists of troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. In addition, there is also a layer of Earth from the surface of the Earth to the center of the Earth on the inside. Besides having the structure of the Earth layer which consists of the upper layer which is composed of a set of gas layers, the Earth also has a lower layer than where our feet stand to the core in the Earth. From the outermost, Earth crust is the outermost layer of the Earth. Together with the Earth's mantle, this layer forms a layer of the lithosphere with a thickness of about 80 kilometers. The mantle of the Earth is a layer that is between the part of the Earth's crust and the core of the Earth. The Earth's mantle is part of the largest layer of the Earth. Third, the outer core is located between a depth of 2,000 and 900 km to 5,000 and 100 km and is composed of solid metal. Fourth, the inner core located between the depth of 5,000 and 100 km to the center of the earth and is composed of molten metal. Okay, before the video is finished, I want to give you two questions. 
universe which one does not comprise the solar system is a sun b planet c spaceship d comet second the earth has only one satellite the name of the earth satellite is a titan b i o c ganymede d moon I will give you time to answer it. Have you answered it? Okay, let's have a discussion together. So, the answer of the first question is C. The solar system is an arrangement of sky objects consisting of the sun as the center of the solar system, planets, comets, meteoroids, and asteroids that move around the sun. Next, the answer of the second question is D. Titan is a satellite from the planet Saturn. This satellite is even bigger than Mercury, whereas Io and Ganymede are the names of satellites from the planet Jupiter. Okay, I think enough from me. I hope you can enjoy this video. Bye!